in a more mysterious experience. This is uh, the theology that comes from this notion of anti-Trinitarianism, which railed against defining God in very clear boxes. <clears throat> Toleration is also fundamental to us. So these are the historical threads. As I said at our Iftar dinner, tolerance, though, for us in this age is a weak virtue. We need radical hospitality, which is something that uh, your organization is practicing. So what do we share? We share, I think, this notion of tolerance or acceptance of others. I think we share the notion of the unity of God, although we will define God in many different ways. Uh, and I think an interesting conversation with you would be just what is the definition of God in Islam. I think Islam and, and Unitarianism also has deep commitment to justice uh, and lifting up the dignity of all people. In Islam, the status of the human is illustrated in the Quran, in verse 34 of the Baqarah. Baqarah, my, my, my Arabic is terrible, it doesn't exist almost. <laughs> The verse says, And when we told the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam, they all prostrated themselves, save Iblis, or Lucifer, who refused and glorified in his ignorance, in his arrogance, and thus became one of those who deny truth. Human beings in their natural state in Islam, this is my interpretation of Islamic theology, in their natural state are higher in, in dignity than angels. <coughs> The one who believed he was higher than hum the human because he was made of fire, Iblis, thus became the first racist. He was what is known as Satan. To Islam, human beings are Kalifula, Kalifula? representatives of God equipped with free will. All human beings are equal. The only distinction made by God is in their degree of righteousness, correct? Islam allows no distinction amongst people on the basis of tribe, or race, or ethnic group, or, or wealth. We too have this notion as Unitarians, coming out of this history, that human life is sacred to us, that freedom is sacred, that free will is essential. We take it as far as we can, and we have worked for justice uh, in the world, and I would say, in some sense, this is a major component of our faith. I think a major similarity also is that our religions are about practice and deeds, not uh, theology and creeds. And this may be a, a, a topic of conversation with you. Is Islam a religion of action and works, like we believe we are? How we live in the world is, is to us of the utmost importance, uh, I believe, to our faith. In these ways, I think we are kindred friends. Now, let's talk a little bit about differences. Now, remember, I'm, this is a big brush strokes because I skipped over a few hundred years of history at a time just to give you a sense of this connection that, that I believe is fascinating and the foundation for us. But let's talk about differences. There are, I believe, many cultural differences, Unitarianism being very uh, strong in a place like Transylvania and America and varied in other parts of the world, but we are very small in, in numbers. Uh, we have, you know, between 250,000 and 500,000 Unitarians all told, depending on how you count it. Um, so we have differences in many, many ways in that way. But I think our main differences might, might uh, gauge around a conversation about um, things like prophets, texts, and practices. So for Muslims, Muhammad was the prophet who received a final revelation uh, from God. We see Muhammad as one prophet in a long line of revelation, as continual and not sealed. For us, revelation uh, happens not only to holy uh, prophets in the world, but also to each of us, uh, revelations in our, in our daily lives. 
The Quran for Muslims is the essential text. For us, the Quran is one among many sources of truth and not the essential truth. Now again, I say these things in love uh, for my brothers and sisters uh, of the Islamic faith here, not as a, as a challenge to you about which is tr more true, but to describe uh, how we see a difference. The Bible, or any other book for us, is, is not the only one text that has the truth. We believe that there is truth in many uh, sources of text that is revealed through many sources. We might differ on issues of the afterlife as well, and this is, a, this is maybe an interesting place to talk about this, because we, even in my own church, have many different ideas about uh, what an afterlife is like. Uh, for Muslims, there is a day of reckoning, a judgment day, and people will be raised from the dead and judged for their entry into paradise or not. Our ancestors said that God would not condemn that which God created, and rejected notions of hell altogether. Take, taking the, our side of what we call universalism, which is universal salvation. <clears throat> Other differences we can talk about. Islam states very clearly five pillars uh, of assumed action in the world, requiring a, a declaration of faith and submission. We are non-doctrinal. We, uh, we require no declaration of faith, just that one practices and strives uh, for knowledge and truth. Prayer for Muslims is, is essential. Islam, in Islam, we pray, you pray five times each day, and the timings are spread out through the day, so that a Muslim is constantly reminded of God and given sufficient opportunity to seek forgiveness and guidance from God. For us, prayer is largely seen as most beneficial to the prayer, not something received or expected by God who may intervene in the world. On this, we definitely should talk about the differences of prayer. Fasting is not something we do unless we are invited by our Muslim brothers and sisters to an iftar dinner. <laughs> and I think I was the only one. <laughs> we have no required pilgrimage, nor do we have any one central location for our faith. Uh, we have no Mecca, we have no Jerusalem, we have no uh, one place. For us, all places are sacred. All places in the world, uh, in nature, uh, have a sacred quality. I think we agree on giving away a percentage of our income. <laughs> we encourage our people to give 5% of their income, uh, but this is an expectation, not a requirement. Uh, though I believe one very clear similarity is our commitment to helping the poor and the disenfranchised uh, in the world. I would say there are many other differences, maybe finding out what they are uh, in finding a peace with them is what the conversation we should have at the table now. Uh, I've talked enough. I tried to give some sense of our connection and some sense of where we come from and some sense of how we differ. And I would uh, now welcome questions from you or conversation for your tables uh, or both. <coughs> Yes. Do we believe Jesus is necessary for salvation? Do we believe? I'm to restate the question. Do we believe that Jesus is necessary for salvation? Okay, there's a, there, there are a couple of things in that question that I'll have to sort of take apart. One is that our ancestors, our universalist ancestors, believed that through Jesus, and they were, in many cases, the universalists were Trinitarian, not Unitarian. Uh, they believed that through following Jesus and the teachings of Jesus, one would find salvation, but that all people would eventually be saved by God. So the universal 